Hey, Hey School Zone podcast listeners, Matt coming at you from sunny Stephenville, Texas, E-I-E-I-O as I like to call it. Um, It is late, late summer and uh, still pretty warm here, but my guess is it's not quite as warm up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where our guest Paul Landers of We Fund You is from. How's it going, Paul? Great. Thanks for having me on. What's uh What's the weather like up your way? What are temperatures right now? Uh, pretty stormy. It's uh, low 40s, um, which is good though. Stopping all the fires, so that's a good awesome. thing for us up here. Awesome. Yeah. So about a 50 degree temperature swing right now between here and there. So <laughs> <laughs> good deal, man. So. Give us a little background on you and how you find yourself in the school fundraising world. Um, Okay. So, yeah, my background, I went to school, University of Colorado, graduated pre-med, but went a completely different route. Um, (coughs) I've owned some other businesses. I own like an insurance brokerage business. But how I got into this was uh, my best friend from high school, Alex Hamill, who's the other co-founder. He um, was a football coach, and he was helping out. His, his dad was actually a high school football coach at a local high school, and he was helping out the high school, and he was in there when they were doing all their fundraising stuff and um, saw how it was going and saw how other teams were doing fundraising and thought he could do a lot better. He had kind of seen some letter campaigns and, like, some email-type campaigns to raise money, and – he basically had a better idea of integrating it with social media and more of like a crowdfunding base. And so he came to me with that idea and I instantly was like, that's a great idea. So I think the next day we filed for, I filed for all the paperwork to start the business. So that was January, 2016. Awesome. So you guys have been at this uh, going on two years. Um, Talk a little bit then about, um, what you saw the needs were and and what you guys have developed in order to to meet those needs in the industry so basically what he saw was the whole fundraising industry for high school sports teams was (coughs) very archaic um it was just basically selling what we call traditional fundraising just products as far as like discount cards cookie dough um and and candy bar stuff like that so he had seen some other stuff where some people were trying to do email campaigns where people could just go donate and letter campaigns where people were just mailing a check um so we thought we could do it a lot better and raise teams more money and by just doing a donation base they get to keep a lot more of that money as well um which is a win-win and so yeah we just kind of dived into it and and took it from there. Um, the, the system has got pretty complex now. Um, it's, it started off kind of like a GoFundMe, where it was just kind of a generic, created a, the system created a page where the kids could just share by email, uh, text, social media like Facebook, Twitter, um, and people would just come donate. But it wasn't really raising enough money, and that's why a lot of teams that try to use GoFundMe don't raise that much money either because it's a just a generic page. So it took us a while to develop the, the software system to where it's at now, but now it's amazing. And basically each kid, when they go in and join the fundraiser, it creates their own personalized landing pages where their own photo and they have their own individual goal, even though it all goes into the team goal. And so um, it's really awesome because yeah, everything's personalized and that, actually started generating a lot more money which which was awesome enough for these what these teams needed so are you guys just working primarily with high school athletics or are you guys working with any school any any team organization um anything that's basically a group so yeah no we do a lot of clubs like any high school club that needs money so um honor society um, math club chess club, um, anything like that. And we also do like middle schools, um, elementary schools, um, junior tackle football, any type of sports clubs, anything like that. 
So we've even done fundraisers for like a whole school, like they'll want to raise money for part of the new library or something like that. And the whole school will get involved so they can just run our fundraiser for that as well. And so what they're doing, unlike some of the other type companies where they do like a readathon or a runathon or a walkathon or whatever, this is just purely appealing to the community or to people via social media and email and the web um, for support, essentially? Correct. Yeah. And it's, yeah, exactly. And it's great because it reaches outside of the community as well. Like a lot of the traditional fundraising just gathers dollars within the community. Um, as far as kids selling the discount cards, this they're, they're inviting people that are relatives that are out of state. Um, so it brings in a lot of other money as well. As far as their base that they, before they weren't able to access. So what, how do you guys get paid? Do you get a percentage of donations? Is there like a subscription? You know, how does all that work? Yeah, our fee is, it's basically kind of like GoFundMe. It's just, we get a percentage of the total amount donated. Is, but is what's, how we make our. But what's powerful so about that is the but, fact that you know, with a lot of the other fundraisers out there, they're, you know, they're selling a product or whatever. And the fundraising company uh, is to pay for their expenses, et cetera, is, is having to keep a lot higher percentage. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, exactly. And that was kind of the big push for us to keep developing the software to make it work great. Cause we believed in the idea so much because basically we found when, teams were using traditional fundraising and selling like cookie dough a lot of the times they only get to keep 40 percent of the, the amount donated and a lot of these people that are buying the cookie dough or the discount cards they just want to contribute they don't really care about getting that discount card they just want to contribute so that's why i think this has turned out to be such a um, a great thing for schools is because people will donate a lot more usually instead of buying like a discount card for $20, they'll go on and donate like $75. Because like right now our average donation is about, it's about at $69. Wow. All, yeah. It varies by sport and state, but um, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So wh where do you guys, um, are you guys working with schools literally all over the country or across yep. the globe for that matter, I guess, right? Yeah, right now we're mainly in the U.S. We launched in Canada um, two months ago. So we've done some beta fundraisers there. Um, and then, yes, we plan on launching into UK and Australia here in the near future. Um, yeah, but it's been great. I mean, the, we get a lot of positive feedback from schools and coaches, um, especially coaches because the big thing with them is they're so busy – coaching you know they don't want to spend time doing fundraising so the great thing with this is or um the coach will run it or we'll have a rep run it um they just come and they meet with with the team and, and explain everything and the kids log in join the fundraiser upload pictures input emails cell phone numbers for text messages post to social media and then they're done within a half hour and then after that it runs itself Basically, the coach doesn't have to do anything. The system tracks participation for everyone, which is actually a key thing that we implemented. So the coach can log on and see how many emails, cell phone numbers, social media posts each kid has done, and it kind of color codes them. So the coach has total transparency, and he can get on kids that are in the red with low participation, be like, hey, you need to send more emails, help out the team, stuff like that. So the coach is really like that. Um, they can run a report function, download an Excel file that has everything in there, who donated, um, emails if they want to give those to the parents so they can send out thank you, um, emails, everything like that. So it's really nice um, for the districts too because it's total, it's complete transparency. They can see the report and see how much has been donated and everything like that. So can a platform like this, do you guys support organizations outside of the schools or are you purely school-based? The reason why I ask is I work on a, the board of directors of a uh, nonprofit called 
kids across cultures. And we've been looking for a platform that we could use to do something similar with our fund drive that we're doing this next quarter. And so uh, we hadn't really dived, dove, dove, dived into that yet to figure out who we wanted to work with. But um, you know, didn't know if you guys had the ability to do something like that too or not. Yeah, no, we have. Um, we, our main push has been getting for sports teams and growing it in that niche. But no, we have been reaching out to certain organizations um, like uh, Boy Scouts of America. We really wanted to try to partner with them um, because we just believe our software can, can really help them. Um, so yeah, no, we want to take it even for uh, fraternities and sororities. Um, we have a plan to do, um, introduce the software to them. They can use it for um, fundraising needs for their dues and um, for their uh, philanthropic stuff that they do throughout the year. Um, so that is our next step is to go after more totally nonprofit organizations. What you mentioned that depending on the type of team, are there certain types of teams that seem to be more involved in this or do more fundraising um, versus others? Um, yeah, I mean, football teams, they, they raise a lot of money just because they have – it basically just depends on the participation level. Like we have – even though football teams raise a lot of money, we've actually seen lately um, this last fall – uh, bands in cross country just because they have the number of kids they're raising a lot of money like we had just had a, a, a fundraiser in Hellgate cross country and they raised over 30 grand because if the kids if the kids participate that's kind of the biggest thing if the kids participate and actually enter in emails and cell phone numbers the system works great I mean we're averaging about $350 per participant so the team can kind of get a general idea. Take like if it's a hundred person team times three hundred and fifty dollars per kid, they can kind of see how much they're gonna generate if they participate. Right. But no, we we've yeah, I mean basketball teams, volleyball teams, um, yeah, it's great. But basically bands, football teams, and cross country is what we see raise a lot of money through this system. What is the onboarding process? So let's lay, say a, a team or an organization wants to utilize you guys as their platform. Um, how, do, how does that work? So basically, they can go on and create the fundraiser. Or we can create it, which is pretty simple. They just input basic stuff like what they're raising money for, um, the fundraiser name, um, and then they can upload a picture. And we suggest instead of a team picture, um, they upload a video as well. Um, we try to have the teams like take a, a short video just of all the kids explaining what they're raising money for. And then we upload that and, and then we activate it. And basically it has join codes. So then the, the participants, the kids can join the fundraiser using the participation join code and away they go and then the system takes them through the invite wizard for each kid where they input email cell phone numbers post social media and then also the coaches have um, a different code that they can join it's called the admin code where they can also invite people and it has a different message and it doesn't track any of their information so no one knows how much they participated or raised and they can also run reports and everything like that so it's actually a really easy system usually a launch like to create a fundraiser takes five minutes and to launch it takes half hour at most. Just depends how many emails kids have to input into the system. So then uh, you said that, um, you know, people set it up and then it kind of takes care of itself. What do, you, what do you mean by that? So basically after they launch and input everything in, the system will run – it depends on when they need the money, but the sweet spot's about three weeks. We like them to run the fundraiser for three weeks. So the system has updates and everything automatically. So basically at two weeks left in the fundraiser, it will send out updates to potential donors um, that haven't donated and letting them know if they can share it or uh, donate. And then one with one week left and then another update with one day left. 
And is, do you guys, does your platform do that with, with uh, text as well, or is it purely email or, or um, you know, how the, does, how does the social yeah. media and text and all that work too? So because of Facebook's um, posting laws, we're not able to post automatic updates on behalf of people. So it just does when they post to social media, it just does that one post, but the email updates go out at 14, seven and, and one day left. The text message just goes out. The text message update goes out originally and then with one day left. And we just did that because with the text message, we're not able to cross reference who's already donated because it's only done through an email receipt. So we didn't want to bombard people um, with, with text messages when they've already donated. So it just kind of sent one last text. At the so, so then how do people do that? Do they like literally pull their phone out and just go through their contact list and pick the people. And then do they manually input those phone numbers into some form on the website or, or how yeah, does that No, work? the, yeah, that, well, that was kind of our problem at the beginning was it was just like, it was easy, but not easy enough for kids. I mean, kids, we realized early on they, their attention span with this stuff is so small that it's like a 15 minute window. So we've actually spent a lot of time making the software as easy as possible. So like right now, yeah, kids launch it on their cell phone. So the, um, there, there's two different ways that we do it, but mainly the way is they'll bring home a sheet like from their parents. Um, well, they'll go to their parents and they'll, <laughs> they'll get all the, the cell phone numbers and they'll actually save it in the notes of their phone so that when they launch, they just copy and paste it in there for the emails or they're sent home and they do the email section with their parents later. And the system actually has like an auto import function. So they can just like the parents can get on there and log in to like their Yahoo. And then it will just automatically pull the emails they want. They can just click um, and it just pulls them in there and they, they can hit send the, the text message function is actually really um, easy on a cell phone. They can basically just auto import them from their contacts on their cell phone. So the cell phone thing actually takes 30 seconds and then they're done. Wow. And same with the social media, like the Facebook, they just click post and it auto pulls their name and everything and generates that post on the Facebook page and the same with Twitter. Um, and another feature we have um, is called the, the flyer campaign. So basically what they can do is they can download um, this flyer, which they can, go door to door or hand out at businesses and it has their tracking code and everything on this sheet um, and a QR code where people can donate off of that. And the coach can actually go in and print off a bunch of them for like their first game is what we call like turning uh, spectators into donors. So they can just hand them out for everyone that comes into a game. And those people can either scan the QR code or just search it on Facebook or uh, type in the URL and then they can go on and donate as well. And so well, the big uh, thing too, go ahead. Go ahead. I right, just going to say the big thing too is we've done a lot of uh, testing and, and updating to the spread the word function, trying to push people that land on the page to share it. And so those people, it kind of tries to push them to go through the, the um, invite wizard and pushes them to invite people by email, text, social media, the same thing after they donate. Um, Cause yeah, it's, it's kind of similar to GoFundMe. It's basically every share generates an average of 38 more dollars to the funders. So yeah, it, it tries to push it to go viral and really raise as much as possible for these schools. What, do uh, you got a couple success stories of teams or schools that, you can think of that have really, really seen a positive impact from this? Yeah. Uh, huge for them. Um, that Hellgate um, High School cross country in Missoula, they raised over 30 grand. I mean, we had some, some football teams here in the fall raise over 40 grand um, down in Dallas area. Um, I think one raised like 43 grand. Um, which they were super happy about, and, and some band teams. We had Rincon um, University High School Band. They raised, I think, as 42000 just under 43000 and that just ended a couple days ago. So that was a big one. I think they were in South Carolina. Um, 
we had AK March. Oh, AK March. Uh, Rincon was actually in Tucson marching band with another one. They raised like 31,000. They were, um, they were the one in South Carolina and that ended about a week and a half ago. But there's other ones that are smaller too. Like we had, um, a West Lynn, um, they made it to like the little, um, kids world series. And so they had to raise money and, and they did one with us and they raised like 11,000 in, in two weeks. And they only had, I don't know the data, but it was like 11 kids, 10 kids. It was me. So that's by far the, the most we've ever raised per participant. That was pretty cool. So they raised enough money where they could pay for the travel costs and everything to go to the, the, um, Babe Ruth little kid world series. That was pretty cool. So what's the uh, best way if folks want to learn more about you guys and how the process works, what's the best way for them to reach out to you guys and potentially if, partner with you guys? They can go to wefundforyou.com. Um, there it has all our contact information. Um, they can create a login on there. And when they do, if they go through and create a fundraiser, um, it does it holds it as pending until we talk to them and approve it and, and explain the software system to them, but they can go to the site, um, call us, fill out the, um, the contact form or send us an email and, and we respond usually within five minutes. Very, very cool. Anything else you want to leave uh, the school zone listeners with Paul? Um, yeah. I mean, I, we believe that this is the future of fundraising. Um, it, it's, it's funny that the industry has been, it's just so archaic because I feel like a lot of coaches don't want it to venture and do anything new when they know they, they've been doing the same thing they've always done is discount cards, you know, and they're, they raise enough money, but this, I just, just please try this. It's amazing. You're going to raise more and keep a lot more of the money and it's a lot easier, um, a lot less headache for you. And it's, it's all around better for everyone. Paul, give the website once again and spell it out if you would, just so people make sure that they get it correct. It's uh, W-E-F-U-N-D and then four and then just a U.com. And that's the number four, right? Correct. If they go to, if they actually spell it out or go um, Y-O-U, it still redirects them to the refund. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Paul Landers, thanks for entering the school zone. Appreciate you taking time out to be here and really excited about sharing your guys' program with our audience. Once again, it's, it's leveraging technology to simplify the fundraising process and to raise more money because, uh, uh, you know, the majority of the money is going to you and your project or your school. Um, instead of being divvied up to several different places, potentially. So very, very cool. Thanks for your time, man. Hey, thanks for having me on, Matt. Appreciate it.